Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am doing a random collective reading. I really just want to see how your person is feeling behind the scenes, what they're going through and what they might want to, might want to say to you. Um, you can be any sign for this reading. If something drew you into the title, there's something in it for you. So this is for any sign, all signs. Um, just take what resonates and leave the rest, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, all the kindness you give me out here. Thanks to all of my subscribers, everyone new here. Thank you, thank you for all of your support. I hope you guys know I really do appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so... Let's see, how do they feel? I don't know which one came out first. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're irritated. Um, they're with somebody who I feel like, um, you know what? I, yeah, I feel like they're with somebody who's just a bitter, resentful person. And they, wanna, they want a new beginning. They want to choose a new path. For a second, I was thinking maybe this was your energy, but I'm not feeling that. I feel like you're not even really a part of this person's life anymore. You've detached, and they know it. They had a chance to choose a new path, and they didn't. They want to now. They're with somebody they don't want to be with who irritates the crap out of them. <laughs> okay, they're, they're aggravated, annoyed, bothered. Um... They know that they hurt you, okay? This is them the, the feeling some empathy, um, being compassionate, right? They're in a lot of grief right now because they hurt the person that they actually want. And the person that they chose over you is bitter and nasty. And they all they do is irritate this person. They hate, they hate it where they are. Let's just say that. This person hates it wherever they are um give me one more and then i think i'm going to break into the flash deck and see what's really going on behind the scenes okay give me one more for the collective how their person feels about the situation vulnerable unprotected they don't know what to do I feel like they just don't know what to do. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They don't know what to do. They're feeling a bit lost here. Um, I feel like uh, if they come towards you, how are they going to apologize for, one, they hurt you, they put you in a third party, they chose somebody over you that's just nasty. How are they going to come in and make this right? I feel like this is your energy collective, excited, enthusiastic about a new a new future. You're you're taking a leap of faith here. You're starting a new journey. Okay? So, you're definitely detached. You're and you're high vibing and excited, a big difference from whoever they're with, don't you think? <laughs> okay, do you see my point? Who, they would much rather be with you and that positive vibe that you have than to be with this um, resentful person that they're with. And I think this person that they're with is resentful because they know your person wants to be with you. You know, why your person doesn't speak the truth, I have no idea. None of us really know for sure. They're scared. Um, they're afraid of whoever they're with. Maybe I feel like this is a toxic, karmic individual. You know, they want me to grab this deck. I just want to pull a couple on this karmic here. And get a feel for the situation. Okay. Clarify this resentful person, please, for the collective. Gratification. I feel like, um, and look at the evil look on that person's face, right? It just looks twisted. 
Um, I feel like this resentful karmic that they're with is just hanging on to your person for gratification. They just don't want them to choose a new path. They don't want them to come towards you. This is somebody who wants to win at all costs, okay? All right, so let's get the flash deck out and see what's really going on in the background, okay? This flash deck, I'm telling you, it's very powerful. <laughs> I love playing with the flash. All right, so Divine, what's going on with this person behind the scenes and this karmic individual? All this karmic wants is to see, you know, they don't, mind, they don't care that your person is hurt, curled up in the fetal position, crying at night, you know, heartbroken, bereaved, sorrowful. Um, suffering a lot of grief and loss because they're they can't be by you okay this karmic doesn't care this does not look like a loving person to me they don't really care they're getting gratification just hanging on to your person they just don't they don't want you to have them that's what this is they don't want you to have them they're they're mean they're nasty they're cold they're harsh they don't give your person any love. There's no love in that situation, but this karmic doesn't give a crap. Okay? Um, surprised. Why are, and angry. And scared. I feel like your person, they're surprised at what you're accomplishing out here. I feel like they're also surprised that they chose very, very poorly. This is somebody who knows now um, how bad of a decision they made here with this person that has no love for them. They're, it makes them angry, but I feel like they're also afraid of this karmic, okay? The karmic doesn't put in any effort We've got this um, this tiny little sign, effort, here on this huge gym wall. They put in no effort whatsoever. Um, let's see what else can you show me here for the collective. Yeah, they keep going up and down. I feel like the, this is kind of one of those situations where they constantly fight, they break up, the karmic reels them back in somehow, okay? And no matter, how, no matter how many times they get back with this karmic, no matter how many ways, you know, you can spin it, but it still ends up the same. Um, I, I just feel like this person keeps getting into a situation um, that's volatile, you know? This karmic is a bully. This is someplace where your person does not want to be. This is the bully table at the high school cafeteria. You don't want to hang out there. It's unpredictable. Things happen at the bully table. You want to stay away from that table. And this person doesn't want to be there anymore. This, this karmic is a bully. Um, they're very unpredictable, volatile. They lash out. Um, and they don't care. They're just hanging on to your person because they don't want to see them with you. That's what this is. They don't want to see this person with you. And as long as they have your person, this karmic is satisfied. Even though I feel like they're both miserable. This is a very dark energy here. You could be dealing with a Pisces, but this is way too many cards. Clarify sheep for the collective. I feel like this person just kind of did, they do whatever the karmic says. Okay, I feel like they do whatever the karmic tells them to because they're low-key afraid. This karmic can get just downright nasty. Somebody here has other options. I feel like the karmic has somebody on the side. Yeah, they're being very fake. This is a very fake individual, okay? 
they planned this photo shoot for Facebook to try to keep up appearances, right? Because they're very concerned about what other people think of their relationship. So they're pretending here to make it all look like it's, you know, perfect on the outside. When behind closed doors, it's miserable. And I feel like um, this karmic is also entertaining other people, by the way. They have other toads that they can kiss, right? Um, here we have a picture that's pre-planned, right down to the color of their sweater that matches the background, okay? I know this is pre-planned and fake because nobody brings baguettes to a picnic with kids. Nobody. So this is a very fake individual. They make it look really perfect on the outside, but really in all actuality, they're miserable, and this, this karmic has other options. They have other options. I don't know if your person knows that. It could be a secret. But, um, yeah, I feel like this person has cheated or is cheating. Oh, it's a secret, but the light is being shed on everything. Maybe that's why your person is so surprised and angry. They're realizing here that um, they're getting cheated on. Yep. Lies, betrayal, a couple of snakes. They've got two snakes around them. This karmic could be cheating with a, a, like a friend of theirs. Meanwhile, you're the goat and you're bored with this. Um, so you are the goat. You're the greatest of all time. That's what that stands for, right? I feel like that you're a divine feminine here, so this is a twin flame soulmate connection. This could be a divine masculine in the karmic, right? Past life soulmates. This is somebody who, I, this is a divine connection, okay? And I feel like you're just bored with this. You really are. You're clearing this energy out, collective. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bit of a cold, guys. <laughs> um, so sorry if I'm coughing. My throat is sore, so I'm like having a hard time talking. Um, but anyway, what else can you show me about this situation? They're finding out, this masculine's finding out that this karmic has been cheating. The light is being shed on everything here. And I feel like it's somebody that they know because they have two snakes, right? Two people that were lying, scheming, um, cheating. So I feel like the karmic is cheating with a masculine's friend. The divine is out here strong. I feel like they're urging this person to choose a new path like now. Yeah, because what whatever they have gotten themselves into, they've been down this road before with this karmic. And um, it needs to be temporary, right? It shouldn't have remained permanent. This is a karmic situation. The divine is trying to tell them, you know, karmic, karmic situations and relationships, they're not supposed to last forever. They're supposed to teach you a lesson and then you move on and you move forward to learn the next lesson, right? It's not supposed to last forever. This is something that should have been temporary and the divine is out here telling this person they need to choose a new path now or this could start making them really sick. I mean, they could end up getting some health issues from this. Yeah. There you go. That's the divine, the divine light. They're trying to lead your person out of the situation. It's time to go. You know, it is time to go. Everything is being exposed here, too, with the sun card. Um, it's all being exposed. And I, I feel like your person knows they need, they need to choose a new path, but the one that they want to come towards... You're the one that they hurt. So it's making them feel very vulnerable. Yeah, they, they need to say goodbye. They need to say goodbye. 
There could be children involved in this. It's going to kick up quite a storm. I feel like in the background there's like a hurricane going on. And you're not a part of it. You cleaned out every speck. <laughs> like I've never seen a, a sink so clean, right? You've cleaned out every single speck of any kind of energy out of this. You are completely detached from this. It's toxic. And the divine is like, it's time for you to get on this bus. Um, come with us to a new path. Start doing the work. Start putting in the effort. Start learning the lessons. Yeah, it's time for this person to start putting in the work. All right, so what else can you show me here? What's going on behind the scenes? What's going on behind the scenes? Oh boy, protecting their snow fort. Okay, so this person is protecting their snow fort. Okay, they've built something here. Um, it could have been their money, their finances, a business, a property, something, their life savings. Okay, at the end of this cycle with the world here, the lesson that they're going to learn is that they may lose a lot when they walk away from this karmic. If this is a commitment, they're going to lose money, a, a, a business, a property, something substantial. And they're going to want to try to protect all that they've got here. This masculine wants to protect everything, but I feel like they're about to suffer a loss in walking away. Okay. What else can you show me? So they're probably looking into their finances, um, moving money around maybe to try to protect it. Yeah, they know they need to go. Planes, trains, automobiles, bikes, skateboards, it doesn't really matter. They need to go, and they need to go now. They, there's, there's really no time to... Yeah, this is a this is this karmic situation is a closed book. This is the end of a cycle. That's it. It's the end of a cycle. Okay? It's time for them to go. Yeah, they're worried about money. They're going to lose everything here because they're dealing with a freaking snake. I'm telling you, it was all about money and this karmic just not wanting your person to come towards you. Give me one more on this situation. Yeah, so um, right now they're just trying to not lose everything that they've that they've worked hard for, but it looks like it looks like they're gonna. They they may have to walk away from a bunch of money or something in a divorce case in order to get their ten of cups. Um, that's what that is. Yeah, they want to go to you. It's time for them to leave this. This is like, I call it a crime scene bathroom. <laughs> because you know what, they, they don't let you see what's in the bathtub, right? This is a big old mess. It's, it's going to be like carnage. Your person is going to lose a lot here. And this snake of a karmic is going to make sure of that. But if they want their happiness, if they want the sweet one, right, that's divine feminine, um, they're going to have to leave the scene. They're going to have to leave this toxic situation behind. It should not have lasted this long. It's something that should have been temporary, okay? Um, let's see what this person has to say. So this person's getting ready to leave um, this relationship behind here. But right now they're digging into their finances, trying to protect whatever they've got left. It's really sad. They're going to leave when they come towards you, Collective. Just know this person's financial situation is going to change drastically. They're going to have nothing left. They're going to have nothing left. Okay. All right. So what does this person want to say to the collective? 
I miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh. They used to light up my world. They miss the happiness. There's, they don't have any happiness where they are. Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. They know they broke your trust. They know they hurt you. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for too long. You were my sanctuary. You, you were the only person I could confide in, and I betrayed your trust. Yeah, trust is a big... They know you don't trust them. That's a big issue here. I couldn't let you get close to me. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you so much. This one really stands out to me here. I feel like this person couldn't let you get close to them because they were worried and afraid of this karmic. This karmic is volatile, unpredictable, a bully, and they didn't want this karmic to lash out at you. So I feel like this person's been protecting you this whole time, but they want you. They want you, collective. This person is choosing a new path, but they're going to lose pretty much everything that they've worked for um, in order to make this change, okay, just so you know. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for this quick check-in. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you dig this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.